Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be for my little Libras, my little librarians. It's going to be August 15th to the 31st of our love. Whatever comes at us, comes at us. Okay? It's going to be brief, but it's going to be full of information. Okay? So, Libra, my Libras, my Libras, my Libras. I love my Libras. I just love you guys. Okay. So we have the gold encrusted dragon. Blue. You might be resonating to the color blue. But it brings higher love so you can embody who you really are. Okay. Please know that you're protected. Um, you are using your six senses. Okay. So you must be incredibly intuitive right now too. It just wants you to embody the love. So embrace whatever is coming at you. Because it's, it's. It's like, it's a magical time for you. It's time for you to really get in tune with who you are. You've got an, an energy, a love energy wave coming at you. It's like, could be opening your heart chakra, even though it's, it's not green. It's, it's just how you love it. You're going to start feeling it, okay? You, you're going to know that you're blessed, whatever is happening in the next few weeks for you, okay? My little Libras. Congratulations on using your six senses. I like that, okay? So, yeah, the three of air reverse. So, something's hurting, which would now make sense to me why this type of love is coming your way. It, it could be universal force or it could be physical. You have the star, and you have the six of earth. So this is, the six of earth is like a, a universal gift. It, this is like a universal blessing. You got the messenger of earth, okay, with the two of earth. It's that balance. It's coming, okay? So could an Aquarius have hurt, hurt you? Maybe, but that's, not, I'm not looking at it like that at all. I'm looking at this as the star is looking right at the six of pence. That's looking right at the messenger, so you got this gift from the universe that's coming. It's it's a blessing. And it's a blessing. And it's going to bring that love back, that blue, the star, the blessing. And it's going to bring the love back to you. On however it is that that's interpreted to you, whether it's universal, you're just you're going to feel it, whether it's friends, family, a lover. You, you just got out of something that was no good for some of you. You're about to really feel the love. That song came to me. Um, what song is it? Feel the love. Feel, no, it doesn't go like that. Something feel the love, though. You're about to feel it. They're going to make sure of it. It's a gift. It's a gift. So it's like getting out of something, making a decision. You're going to get a message. So my book is three of air. So... Healing is about to take place, and you're about to get a shift of energy, which is going to shift your energy, so you feel the love, so you feel protected, which I think is beautiful, okay? So you got the Queen of Cups, so you are a bit emotional. You got the Sun at the bottom of the deck. You could, could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo, but to me, it's yeah, about to put the lid on the pain and move forward. Eh, you might be dealing with a strong Cancer. Oh, you could be the Cancerian. And you have a strong Cancerian in your chart. Your heart's about to be mended, okay? You're about to move forward. Here comes a blessing. You must be really emotional because I just felt it. Tell me about the stuff. This is a blessing, something coming your way. Page of Pence. A new start. It could be with the King of Wands or somebody offering you something, but it's a start. It looks like money right here. Synergy. Because, I mean, you got literally Page of Pens twice and the Six of Earth. Okay, that's too many. Tell me about the Six of Earth. And this is reciprocity. This is synergy. This is also a gift. All right, so once again, a message. It's going to take some time. It is the slowest night in the deck. But... Whatever this is that's coming, that is a blessing, and it's a new start, whether it's an apology or work. It is a blessing. 
They're all going in the same direction. You're going to have to decide on whatever this is regarding. But it's moving forward. It's getting you out of heartache. It's getting you out of feeling like you can't move. It's getting you out of like you feel stuck or you're having heart palpitations. Like, it's beautiful. Tell me about the messenger of earth. That's funny. That's one five. Looks like there's an either an earth sign or a new stat with an apology work, like I said, moving forward. Okay. This messenger earth is the three of swords again with the four of cups. You be real careful about considering any offer from somebody <coughs> that's hurt you. And I'm not saying that. You can't balance out a situation. I'm not saying that. But this message, what it's saying to me is it's going to mend your heart. But, and we knew that because we saw that there. But don't take this opportunity because you're bored. Take it because you want to create. Take it because you want a new start. Don't take it out of revenge. Don't take it out of spite. I'm going to pull your best advice for this particular card. Tell me about the, my Libras. Tell me about the messenger of earth, please, with the three of hearts and the four, four of cups. Two of air. Being unable to make a decision. Stalemate. Pretending there's not a problem. See what I'm saying? Like, be careful. And then you got the page of pence again. So it's like, this person's coming in. But it's like, it's just something challenging, all right? So it's it's like you're pretending there's not a problem because it's like you don't want your heart to hurt. Don't take somebody back from the past that's caused you this pain because you have a beautiful force of love coming at you. Don't repeat the wheel with somebody because even at the bottom of the deck, the empress is reversed. Have enough self-love. Whatever this is regarding. Because you have a blessing. Don't act like there's not a problem. You have a blessing right here. A new area of study. A new, you've got a new blessing coming at you. But you also have somebody from the past coming at you that probably hurt you. And I think you're just kind of like... You don't, you don't know what to do. But I say end this difficult situation. I'm going to pull your best advice. It looks like you could have had a cancer that hurt you or vice versa. Cancer, Aquarius. It's, it's time to move forward. You could have a cancer and Aquarius coming at you, right? It really just depends. You could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that hurt you. Best advice for my Libras. But you be real careful. Don't don't pretend there's not a problem. You got the eight of earth right here. But don't be taking someone back because you don't want to feel this pain anymore. It's just easier to be like, okay, I accept your apology. Or you can still accept an apology and move forward. Okay. But you also pulled the eight of earth. Skilled work. It's, it's going back to school. It's learning something new, too. But we have the night of water with renewal. And it says falling in love or a, a need to balance out your emotions. You might even be going to a social event. I don't really see it like that. But the renewal is it's a favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move in a new direction. You ha are going to have this new opportunity come in, which is linked to the night of pence. Okay. I don't know if it's a renewal with love or not, but um, let me put these cards back in and clarify you real quick because you got two different people. You got someone who definitely, most definitely hurt you, which always takes two, right? It's not just one person's fault. But with the Knight of Water, you got something, someone coming in for you to go in a new direction, which is this blessing. It's like a new love. It might not start off strong and potent like that, but it's going to build into something phenomenal. Tell me about this night of water. 
whomever hurt you, let, let it go. Let them go. All right, so that's that celebration. I will tell you, it could be a Capricorn, or you need to be real careful on who comes back. But to me, that's, that's someone brand new. You're going to be looking forward, out and about. It could be with your friends. You could be at a gathering. Because you did have something about a social event, right? Next thing you know, you meet somebody. It could be linked through work, too. I'm not really sure. but And, and then the Page of Cups. So yeah, this is somebody who's definitely got feelings for you. Um, let me just do the whole renewal. The whole renewal is not saying somebody from your past. It's saying it's time to go in a new direction. Whoa, that's way too many. But we got the sun <laughs> and the knight of pence. But then at the bottom, that's tricky, is the lovers, because you do got that energy probably lurking and coming back around. All right, but once again, that's that knight of pence, and, and that has so much potential. Please, for growth, look at it's time to move in a new direction. Okay? You got somebody new coming at you to show you what love is. I want to know what love is. You're about to experience the real deal. Let's give it time. Give it time. Congratulations. I'm sorry you went through this, but it's about to get so much better for you. All right? I love you. Bye. And it was when I was about to end it. 11.22. Please look up the spiritual meaning of 11.22. I'm going to do it for you right now. It's linked to love. It's linked to love. <clears throat> I know it is. I haven't seen that one in a long time. But I know it is. I know it is. If you see the 1122, it's a change for a new beginning. You know, move on from the past mistakes. Build a new life for yourself. It symbolizes a big break in something that you've been waiting for. It's the end of a, a current phase. Welcome the new love. Okay. And then it says... Yeah, it's just connecting. But new love. You might have a little bit of a sexual appetite, too. Okay. <laughs> and it was just 12-12. I love you guys. Bye.